today's class, we will discuss sanitation. Sanitation involves equipment and systems designed to keep places clean by removing human waste. The success of sanitation programs depends on facilities, collective responsibility, and individual discipline. Good sanitation prevents diseases like cholera, diarrhea, and typhoid spread by mosquitoes and flies. Key factors in designing a sanitary system include Health considerations 1. Fresh excreta should not be handled or exposed to flies. 2. Soil surfaces and groundwater should not be contaminated. Cost considerations 1. Construction costs should be reasonable. 2. Local materials and expertise should be used for construction and maintenance. The primary goals of any sanitation system are to reduce biochemical oxygen demand, BOD, and control pathogens. BOD is a measure of organic pollution in water, typically expressed in milligrams per liter. Non-network disposal systems, non-network systems, such as common latrines, aqua privies, and septic tanks, are used where centralized sewer systems are not available. Types of latrines Bucket latrine The bucket latrine system involves collecting human waste in containers, which are then regularly emptied by sanitation workers. It comprises four main elements. 1. Defecation area, the latrine and container for excreta. 2. Excreta removal, transfer to another container or replacement with an empty one. 3. Transportation, moving excreta to a disposal site. 4. Treatment and disposal, options include burying, water disposal, burning, composting, or biogas production. Pit latrine, a pit latrine includes a pit, floor slab, and superstructure. Design considerations, cost, reliability, comfort, fly control, and structural support. Aqua privy, an aqua privy is a cost-effective alternative to septic tanks, offering advantages over pit latrines. Excreta enter a water-filled tank for anaerobic digestion. Key advantages include 1. Odor and fly elimination, water seals prevent odors and flies. 2. Efficiency, longer filling time due to bacterial digestion. 3. Maintenance, requires only a small amount of water daily for upkeep. Advantages of pit latrines 1. Odor elimination through water seals 2. Fly elimination through water seals 3. Longer periods before needing emptying due to efficient bacterial digestion 4. Lower water usage for daily maintenance Advantages of septic tanks 1. Easier to construct 2. Less expensive 3. Simpler operation Cautions, maintain water levels in the tank by adding about 14 liters daily, which can also be used to clean the inlet drop pipe. Other non-network systems Chemical toilet, chemical toilets use bactericidal liquids, like sodium hydroxide or formaldehyde, to neutralize waste, ideal for boats, buses, and trains. Incineration latrine Incineration latrines burn excreta immediately, leaving only ashes to remove. This method requires fuel and energy. Dot composting toilet. Composting toilets mix excreta with garbage and paper in a corrosion-resistant container. Air circulates, decomposing the contents into humus and gases. Sanitation systems are crucial for public health, needing thoughtful design and collective responsibility. Methods like bucket latrines and aqua privies reduce disease spread. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.